I never dreamt of being a Disney princess. It just sort of happened that way. I woke up one morning, opened my sliding glass door, and I had birds chirping, rabbits nibbling on my grass, had bees buzzing around. I mean, it was really like just Disney picturesque. Where I come from, it's too hot for life, commonly referred to as Satan's weenus. Las Vegas only has two seasons. One which is kind of cool from November to January, and then we have excruciating, salt melting heat the rest of the eight months. Needless to say, I'm happy with my move to Boulder, Colorado. And that Disney charm quickly turned on me. The backyard went from having two rabbits to having 10 rabbits in a matter of three months. The lawn was completely destroyed. There's now huge patches that I've been trying to patch back up, and I'm trying to get figure out a humane way of getting rid of all these rabbits. And that's when I started working on OpenScale. OpenScale is an open source way scale consisting of an HX711 IC, Arduino programmed at Mega 328P, a temp sensor, and built-in FTDI. It has the following ports, an external one-wire temp sensor with screw terminals for quick mount, a load cell screw terminal, load cell combinator for using strain gauges, and a serial out port for transmitting the data you are trying to collect. In this project, I'm using OpenLog to log the timestamp, weight, temp, and units. However, you could also hook up OpenScale to any Wi-Fi enabled device such as Blink that uses UART to push the data using FANT to data.sparkfun.com. Here's my project. Inside this rabbit house is a 10 kilogram load cell connected to OpenScale. Inside the rabbit hole there is gourmet rabbit food. So yesterday when I uh, set this up in my backyard, I actually dug a little hole and I wanted to make sure that the scale was at ground level. Then I put a board on top of it. Now I wanted that to equal zero weight on the scale so that I, I needed to create that reference. In the calibration menu, steps one and two are tear, and then two is calibrate. So the first thing I did was tear the scale to zero. From there, I added a, a known weight, which was just one of my like iron pump in, like two pound weights. And then I added another two pound weight to confirm that it was gonna read four pounds, which it did. So after a full day and a half of data collection, I found that the rabbit speed time were more, in, more influenced by temperature rather than time of day. So yesterday they ate between seven and eight, and this morning they noshed between six and seven. And what I found is that today the temperature is, has risen much quicker than it did yesterday. So with that data, I adjusted my sprinkler system to go off between eight and nine in the morning for about 15 minutes. Unfortunately, the SD card which was logging the video footage from my backyard got full before the sprinkler system set off. OpenScale is a practical solution to solve a myriad of real-world problems that exist today. I'm using it to track the life of the rabbits in my backyard, while our CEO is using it to track the life of bees. It's an incredibly practical solution for almost any way-scale application.